Well, let's do an activity. Are you ready? Get ready. Get ready to write. Piece of paper. Get ready to write some profound thoughts. I want you to listen to what I say and then immediately begin writing the first things that come into your mind. Immediately begin writing the first things that come into your mind. No need to censor. It's your own private little piece of paper that you're writing on. You can take it home and burn it or rip it up if you'd like. That's fine. Afterwards, you'll be able to share, if you want, some of what you've written. Not immediately. I'll give you some time to contemplate whether you want to share anything. Um, so, are you ready? Imagine that you go to sleep tonight as your normal self. And then, when you wake up in the morning, you discover that you are still yourself. But, now you have transformed into a person of the opposite sex. If you were a male, you are now female. If you were a female, you are now a male. When you discover this change, when you wake up in the morning, I want you to write down what would have been your first thoughts, your reactions, your feelings, whatever else that comes into your mind. And so, go for it right now. You got about two or three minutes. Write down those thoughts, feelings, reactions. <laughs> Okay, time's up. Now, let's just do um, a tiny bit of debriefing. And if you feel like sharing something, you can. But there'll be a time later when I have you guys pair up or get in small groups and you'll be able to share more about what you wrote or what you thought. But for now, uh, a few of you who feel like you might want to share something that came into your mind, something that was... Shannon. No, my dad really won't want me to be a feminist therapist. <laughs> <laughs> now my dad really won't want me to be a feminist therapist. Okay. He didn't really want that before, but all right. Megan. Um, besides being surprised, um, I thought that I plenty to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Time to do some shopping. This is a surprise. Okay. All right. Leah. I might have a hard time going to the bathroom. <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were thinking of the practical implications of using the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Nancy. I'm going to earn 20 cents more an hour. <laughs> Only 20 cents more? <laughs> on the dollar. On the dollar. Good. I thought you meant like instead of. $10 an hour, you're going to make 10 20 <laughs> But you mean 20 instead of 10 you'll make 12 bucks an hour. Ah. Yeah, what would your fiancé think? Would he still want to get married? And then maybe you couldn't get married? Yeah. Maybe the miracle happened to him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any men willing to volunteer whether they thought that it was a good deal for him? Any... Anybody want to? I was curious. Colin was curious about what it would feel like. Okay. He's a gamer. He's into fantasy. You know. Okay. Tyler. I was ready to change back. You're ready to change back. Yeah. Wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Wasn't feeling all that great. Yes. I was just wondering if my voice would sound the same. I thought this would be the same. Yeah. It's funny the things that just kind of go through your head. What I love about humans is that what goes on in your own minds is always yours, right? It's your soul, spirit, personality, whatever it is that's in you. You kind of went there and you thought about your voice. And that's great. Maybe nobody else in the room thought about that. And that's, that's cool. I'm like, this is wrong with my car. And then being like, oh, 
Yeah, that's a really good point, but I gotta say they treat me that way too. <laughs> maybe they know. I don't know, maybe they know I have a hyphenated last name. I think maybe they know that I got hit in the head really hard and I found my feminine side. I don't know. But they treat me like that too. I think they do. They can pick, they can sense those things. Car mechanics. Paula, did you have a comment too? Yeah, I was excited that I would be able to like burp and pass gas without the shame. <laughs> the freedom to belch and pass gas. That is really clearly a double standard. I mean, I, that's amazing to me how deep that is. I was thinking that I've written up words about my biological alarm clock having gone off already, and I could uh, pair up with a younger woman and not kids. <laughs> wow, so Sydney's thinking, I'm still reproductive. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I just think it's great, you guys. Think whatever you want, but of course our point is, does it make a difference? Does it make a difference? And I think what I'm hearing from you guys, that there are some themes that might suggest, yes, it makes a difference. Uh, sometimes it can make a really big difference. <laughs>